Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Josh here with PlanetChinchilla.com. We appreciate you guys coming back to the Planet Chinchilla YouTube channel. And today's video is a video I've actually wanted to do for a while. And it's much more informational than a lot of the other videos where we that I do where I'm kind of just either walking around and talking or interacting with Chili in the playpen. Um, this video is more geared towards new time chinchilla People who are getting ready to adopt a chinchilla, they're curious of what options they have and just basically all the chinchilla options you have when it comes to colors, where you can get them, etc. So this is all gonna be about mutations of chinchillas, the colors that they come in, how hard it is gonna be to find them, and we're gonna do it in a little bit of a different fashion. I'm actually gonna go onto the computer and do kind of a voiceover talking style so I can pull up some of the colors of the chinchillas. But that is what today's video is all about. So stick around and we'll be right back with that. All right guys, really quick before we do that, like I always do, if you guys find this kind of content helpful, give us a thumbs up like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button so you are notified in the future for every Tuesday and Thursday videos that come out at 8 a.m. so that you can keep watching them as we keep producing them. Also, drop some comments for us. Let us know what kind of videos you guys wanna see in the future. We are happy to make it. We can't make it if you don't tell us what you want. Just be like, yo, Josh, yo, Chili, how do I do this? We'll make the video as soon as we can. We'll get it up on the channel for you. And then lastly, guys, make sure that if you need further information about becoming a new chinchilla owner, adopting a chinchilla, everything you need to know. I have dumped over 200 blog posts into planetchinchilla.com. They are all written by yours truly. Go check it out. Again, that's planetchinchilla.com. Link will be in the description below. Link to colors and mutations of chinchillas will also be in the description below. And make sure that you check out our newest ebook. It is on planetchinchilla.com under ebook downloads. I will also have that link in the description below and the URL for that web page displaying across the bottom of the screen. It is jam packed full of useful content for a new time chinchilla owner. Tips, tricks, how to hold them, how to get them to enjoy being held, how to bond with them, everything you need to know from recommended gear to recommended diets. Right now you can use promo code CHINCARE50, C-H-I-N-C-A-R-E-5-0 at checkout if you guys do decide that that interests you for 50% off. Again, link will be down in the description below or you can go to planetchinchilla.com to check that out. CHINCARE50 for the promo code. Now let's start diving into the different colors of chinchillas and what kind of awesome colors you can go for when you decide to adopt your chinchilla or your next chinchilla. All right guys, so let's start diving into some of these color options you have whenever you go to adopt a chinchilla. Major disclaimer here real quick is I have no clue in your area which ones of these colors will be available to you. So make sure that before you think one of them is just so cute you gotta go get them that you do your research in advance so you kind of know what your options are. So the, there's basically eight primary colors or subsets that you can break chinchillas down into. You have your standard gray, your ebony, violet, which is awesome. And then you have your homozygous, if that's how you say it, beige, your heterozygous beige, your white or sapphire, your black velvet. However, you also have two wild card chinchillas which are just extremely awesome, throwing that out there, which is your TOB and your gold bar chinchilla, which I'll show you pictures here shortly, but that's kind of your, your main colors that you have the option of getting. I would say standard gray, black, and white are the most common. And then all of those other colors after the ones I just said are the most common kind of fall somewhere below that, depending on what breeders you have available in your area. Some states have a lot more breeders than others, which are the two things that you need to understand about your color options because, you know, online you'll see that you have like 30 different blends or color options you can ultimately adopt with a chinchilla, but availability is huge, supply and demand is huge, and cost is big. So some of the colors based on supply, demand, rarity, 
whatever that situation may be are going to cost you more at the adoption so kind of take this video as a in a whole overview of the colors but then realize that you know that gold bar chinchilla or even a black velvet chinchilla may cost you more than something like chili who's behind me right there in that cage I know I talk about having her you know right next to me when I work all the time well there's your proof it's her cage right behind me but um, she's a standard gray so extremely popular color I only had to drive a few hours to get her I mean she's still awesome but keep that in mind now let's one by one I'll pull up a picture like a little side by side for you talk about that color of the chinchilla just so you kind of have a better idea of each of them All right, guys, so of course I have to start with the standard gray. It only makes sense, right? It's the host of your show. It's yours truly. It's chilly right behind us. Extremely, extremely popular color mutation of the chinchilla. The only real two variations you get of the standard gray, and there's some, some subsets that might fall in between depending on the breeder, but you got a light gray and a dark gray she is actually more of the dark gray so she leans towards that darker side there is a lighter shade of a gray or a standard gray chinchilla but she is your standard gray you can see her right here on the side of the screen that's a pretty similar image of what you can expect that darker shade of a standard gray chinchilla to look like or what you can expect if you go to adopt one typically these will run you anywhere from about 150 to maybe 300 depending on the state and the availability. I don't think they typically get that high. I would think they're closer to 250, but standard gray, popular, pretty low to midline pricing, still makes for an awesome chinchilla. And now guys, I wanna take a look at one of the black chinchillas. These are actually one of my favorite um, colors that you can choose to adopt for these guys. They just look cool to me. I've always wanted to get a second one. I'm just so scared of that bonding process, but Here's a quick look at the black chinchilla. And guys, these are pretty common as well. You should be able to find one of these without too much hassle. Shouldn't be hard to find a breeder in your area. About the same cost usually, maybe a little bit more expensive than the standard gray, but another awesome color if you ask me. All right guys, so I'm gonna kinda whiz through some of these last color options that you have just to keep this video kind of short and sweet and not hold you up here forever. But let's hit on a few of these last ones here. So the first one I'm gonna show you is a variation of the beige chinchilla, which should pop up now. Next, and another very common option that a lot of people choose, and I see them all the time online, another one of my favorites, and another one you should be able to find at a pretty low to midline price range is the white chinchilla, which is popping up right now. And then this next one is just awesome. I'm not 100% sure how hard these are to find at a breeder or what they cost, but your purple or your violet chinchillas Yeah, those ones are awesome. Awesome color. Same with the gold bar chinchilla here. And then, of course, I have to mention the black velvet chinchilla showing up right here. Okay, guys, I know that there are more colors that you can certainly adopt, more combinations of colors, and I know that we whizzed through quite a few of those pretty quickly there towards the end, but that should give you an idea of some of your options, especially if you're getting ready to adopt a chinchilla. I'm gonna go ahead and cut back over to the original footage here just to wrap things up with you, but hopefully that helped you out somewhat understanding the colors and the options you have when you go to adopt a chinchilla. Guys, that about wraps up today's video. We appreciate each and every one of you. We appreciate our subscribers. Again, be sure to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content or it helped you in any way. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button so you're notified when the new videos come out. 
Leave us a comment with any questions you have and don't forget to head on over to planetchinchilla.com. Don't forget to check out that ebook offer. Promo code again is chincare50 for any of those of you who are interested. And again, thanks a lot guys. Chili and I have appreciated each and every one of you subscribers early on. We truly hope that these videos are helpful to somebody out there who's trying to raise these guys and we will keep pumping out these videos for you on a weekly basis. Until the next video, we will see you guys again next time and take care.